What's going on guys, it's Kude here, and today we're gonna go over update 5.3.1. What is it? It is a hotfix, something we have not received for a long time. Each update is the only way that they've been fixing bugs. And that's not ideal because if there's any live bugs with the current update, those don't get addressed for three to four months until the next update where new bugs get introduced. So it's always good for every game to have a few hot fixes, one at the least, one at the least. <laughs> but what is this patch going to fix? According to community games managers, uh, there's no patch notes as of now, but it will address many of the issues players have experienced with update 5.3. In my opinion, I interpret this as bugs. I don't interpret this as server errors because server errors can be fixed without having to do a game update. Like if the server is having major difficulty keeping up, that's not something that the update is faulty for. That's for the server trying to keep up. They would just need to make sure that the server has enough CPU, uh, storage, memory, all that kind of space so it can actually uh, perform correctly. But there's a few glitches in this update that I think they're going to tackle. And it's primarily the Black Dragon Tower Fatal. Firstly, the rewards are now going to be visual. So we can see that it's four epics you're going to be able to get at Tower 200. And secondly, I do believe that they're going to fix some of these freezing issues or when bosses and characters become immortal. That's the problem is when they become immortal through either freezing or crashing or all sorts of ways that they can just become immortal. So you have to watch out for some of these battles and you can't do anything about it as an average player because you report the bug and maybe you get a little bit of compensation for it, but what if you just keep fighting and running into it? So hopefully this patch will prevent a lot of these bugs from happening. I'm putting a, a few on screen, by the way, and these all come from my Discord server where people post these bugs in like a little bug section and i hope that everyone who posts these bugs definitely reports them to warner brothers i like that there's a bugs channel because if anyone reports these videos to them then they can see exactly what the problem is and they can fix it we, we, we could have a little laugh at it too right come on we could have a little laugh at it one of my favorite bugs i've seen in the in the channel for this update at least is that the brutality angle doesn't go away so the camera is just tilted over to the right and it's kind of it's kind of silly that, it, that it's like that. I've never seen that kind of bug before, before this at least. There's been better bugs though. All right, there's been better bugs, guys. <laughs> what else will update 5.3 uh, do? Well, guess what's getting close, closer and closer. May, and that's when Onslaught Fujin will be releasing. All right, I'm looking forward to Onslaught Fujin. We need him now. <laughs> I just want to be able to buy him up and start playing with them. I wonder what the 5.3.1 patch notes are going to be, honestly, because while there are a lot of game breaking bugs that they can fix, I, yeah, I'm having a hard time imagining what else they're going to do. I didn't notice anything wrong with what they added inside the game files this update, besides the Black Dragon Tower Fatal being messed up. That's about it. So is this patch going to only be for live gameplay bugs? We'll have to see and find out, but get prepared for it. Maintenance starts tomorrow. Make sure to link your account up to a WB ID because uh, so many people don't link up and then they blame Warner Brothers when they lose their account. You can't do that, man. If you don't link your account up, how are they supposed to save it? That's great for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. This is Kude. Sign it out.